Delaney and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Right, so the Sunday game anyway, uh, Brighton. 1-0 winners against Newcastle. What um, a shit game. Yeah, you would have thought Newcastle, they seem to be putting a bit of a run together and then it obviously should, that's over. It should be illegal for Sky Sports to like <laughs> advertise that as Super Sunday. <laughs> yeah. They should just call it Sunday football or something. Like, <laughs> Sunday should get like yeah. half off your bill this week. Like. Yeah, like it just should be free to air. Like. Free to air, <laughs> no one gets charged that week. <laughs> but like free to air are usually like, you know, games where, oh, this is a good game, I might actually sign yeah. up. Pretty day guy, it was Champions League sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, not not much to talk about. Yeah, nice to see Hughton getting a win over Newcastle after. Yeah, I suppose what happened to him. Yeah, he wasn't, um, treated, he wasn't treated the best there. Nah, nah. Steve nah. hates him. But anyway, <laughs> Steve absolutely <laughs> Mr. Controversial. Steve absolutely hates him. Right. I don't hate Chris. Steve hates I don't everybody. hate Chris Hughton as a man. I just don't think he's that yeah, good a football manager, that's all. He's, he's he does a so job. Well, like, like I, I'm not going to fall out with a bloke, I think he's not right. He seems like a nice dude, like, it's fine. But <laughs> so, yeah. He's got a just see him when he sees him. Nah, but, he's, uh, yeah, the, game, the game itself, what I was saying um, about Newcastle is they can't be relying on the centre half to score from every week from corners. They need their strikers to step up, they need the likes of Dwight Gale and that to, to start scoring goals. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's what that's we, that's what we said. Like, that's Newcastle, they don't have the worst squad. It's just like they're missing a head. Yeah, yeah, like, well, I think John Joe Chevy's the most overrated player. <laughs> well, yeah. they've, they've well. got a big find in Mikel Marino. I think it, it didn't work out for him at Dortmund last year when he went there, but he's come on loan to Newcastle and he just dictates football matches. He just, he's great on the ball. He's good. His interception you know, numbers are high and everything like that. And he gives them a bit of stability in midfield, which... As you, they don't get the John Joe Shelby because first of all he's not going to give you stability in midfield and second of all he's probably going to kick someone in the head at some point <laughs> like, or probably off playing Quidditch yeah. <laughs> Voldemort didn't play Quidditch <laughs> <laughs> all I know is that all the fans just throw Voldemort down on him. Um, I'd say he played Quidditch when he had hair <laughs> John Joe Shelby never had hair yeah, he, just, he just he's came out of the womb like that and stayed in that for a while. <laughs> just looking like a penis. Skill was rough. But uh, yeah, look, 1 0. It was a fair result. There was nothing really much going on, Yeah. to be honest with you. Bro- I, I think Brighton are going to be a lot of these teams this year. I I had said at the start of the season, I didn't think they had enough to stay up. Um, Your man Gross uh, looks a decent player. That's his yeah. favourite player. <laughs> <laughs> you seen our transfer just, video? Just just he's his favourite player. Um, he just, good yeah, he just he he creates good. he creates chances, and that's what they need. Um, he's got a couple of assists and a couple of goals and stuff so far this year. He looks good. It's Criado when he gets adapted as well. He's a good signing, and he's full of pace, and that's maybe something they don't really have in the team. Yeah. Sure. And Hemed scored. Scored a couple of goals. He's scored twenty six. He's, well. he's scored or assisted twenty six of the last thirty goals at the Amex for Brighton, which is a great like home record. But he has to do it away from home. Yeah. Um. Mm. Should he have been sent off? The stamp. Maybe. So you'd argue that I didn't. I genuinely I watched it back, and when you look at the replay, he looks like he's actually just trying to stand up, get over him. <laughs> he he looks like he could have avoided his life, but it didn't look like it was like too hard of a stamp. I, I think he could. I think it would have been a bit harsh. Yeah, to kind of send them off for it, but look, Brighton. Graham Sooners, Brighton deserved the win, True. but I think Newcastle, despite the league position and everything like that, I think they're in. I do think they're in a lot of trouble because you need to score goals and yeah. possibly Dwight Gale and <coughs> Mitrovic, a- Alexander Mitrovic yeah. aren't going to score sure, the with goals. The new, the the new FIFA coming out, I'm sure Rafa if you go back home. Play with a few controllers and get some sun in the career mode. He loves a bit of fever. <laughs> so when he went away, they were doing that. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah. Come on, come on. Get, 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 on, we'll get, get on to it. We'll get on to it. We'll get on to it. We'll get on to the the only game that mattered. Um, Arsenal <laughs> just wrapped up two 0 Lacazette uh, brace. Fantastic player. He's just uh, obviously like we said. I said last time I was on. We haven't had a player with his type of movement for a while. Uh, Since Robin Van Persie, really. Pretty much. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention him without you like don't chucking him. the table over and walking out. But <laughs> okay. That was Nick, too often. It's going to happen. Nick, I, I, away from the game, how good was Van Persie for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that one gone. 
Oh, my. <coughs> like I said, Willand will be annoyed now in the next five years. Oh, oh, Ozil's, <laughs> oh, Ozil's gone at the end of the season. Imagine, yeah, yeah. imagine Sanchez went to United on a free transfer. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, like, a, like we don't have, you know, Way to history. Go get Philly from here to players. here in... <laughs> We gave, we, gave you, keep it together, we gave you Sylvester, so that's... Uh, and that was a fair trade. Well yeah. so, yeah. That was a fair trade. Um, yeah, but obviously Arsenal went completely out of their way to give West Brom a way back into the game. Obviously Mustafi's trailing leg. Oh, they went balls deep straight away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mustafi's trailing leg obviously caught uh, Jay Rodriguez. It was dangerous. Like, yeah. I don't know, he's... He, he's I want to like I liked Mustafi when he first came and he looked a solid centre back, but he's he's like Kieran Clark, he's a German Kieran Clark. Uh, look, so any, rash. any player that David Moyes gets rid of, you know, <laughs> they're always never. Oh uh, yeah, they never they never amount to end, man. Yeah, yeah. So you know, okay, so serves uh, you right. Look at Eric Dyer, no money messing. I uh, know. I think uh, Mustafi's a good player. Uh, I just think you know, I think Arsenal might be that little bit of a jump for him. Um, look at Arsenal. Have, Obviously, they lined up tonight with a front three of Lacazette they finally Sanchez let them lose. and, uh, and Aaron Ramsey as well. And I think Ramsey's actually an important member of that front three because Ramsey again. He does won a so, panel. yeah, he does so he does so much hard work on he that right, and he looks such a more effective <laughs> footballer when he's pushed further up the field when he doesn't have the responsibility to go back. You see with Wales, the Euros at Wales, and he just pushed yeah. up into them forward roles. He's outstanding. He. He scores goals, he creates goals, he's a good runner with the ball, mm-hmm. and he'll do the work that Sanchez and Lacazette don't want to do. Although you do love Alexis Sanchez's <laughs> work rate and <laughs> like, the play to grass. He spun away from, like, <laughs> I don't know which player, yeah, covered Finn's every He's out there the shining gra- blades of grass for Sanchez <laughs> before every friends. game. We're best friends, me and Sanchez, we're best friends. We text. Um, <laughs> But he, he literally he spun, he spun away more. from two West Brom players, and I swear to God, like, just... Yeah, well, did he do Lacks against Chelsea? Or, you know, <laughs> to be fair, he, like, he came on and looked all right. Ah, money, I, I think Sanchez is top quality. Whether his hearts with Arsenal is what I'd be doubting. So, it's the same thing. Look, I fell out uh, all over Lukaku in, in March because of his comments and stuff like that. It's just, you know... I, yeah. just, I used to I used to say the same things about Van Persie so. Will Sanchez look good in that United number five? <laughs> take this. Take this. I'm gonna walk off. Sam. The thing I'd be saying right now is <coughs> we're fairly lucky in the like we obviously watch the Premier League more more than the other league that the amount of strikers that we have and there like who would you actually say is the best because you got Morata. Uh, Lukaku, Aguero, and Jesus. Kane. You've got Kane and you've got um, Lacazette. Yeah. And I don't know if you can include anyone else. More. I, I, we, I, start, we start with Nick. Like, uh, yeah. who, who would you pick your favourite? Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of Morata at the moment. As I said, like, he's, he kind of reminds me of Van Nistelrooy, just his movement. Um, strange comparison, but just, just watch him against Stoke. Uh, as I said, like, start off as a winger, he's moved in more central, adapted really well to it. Um, big fan of Kane gonna go with Lukaku just because I'm a United fan just kind of all around there but um, I like I like Kane Luke Kane can drop back he can <clears> he can play a bit of ball as well but um, I'm gonna go for Lukaku I think he's you can't take a free though or a corner he no did, well that's he, not his fault he hit the <laughs> Kane, Kane hit the post with a free kick against West Ham and set up the third goal of the uh, league yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hodgson Hodgson made the balls of things there for, for my breeze. but uh, no I say I say Lukaku just on his form it's because I'm a United fan as well but, okay Steve uh, it's a pretty easy answer for me, I think it is, isn't it? It's going to be Morata. <laughs> um, he's, I said already, he's a complete striker. He's got everything people talk about. Lewandowski maybe is the best number nine in the world. Um, and yeah. he's, he's right there with him. Okay. Um, so it's, I think it's between them two as the best two strikers, the best two natural number nines mm-hmm. out there at the moment. Okay. Oh, Sergio Aguero. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm kind of torn between him and Kane. <coughs> I really am. I do think Kane is that good. I just I feel like because he's English, he'll never get the kind of real um, loving that he really should. Same with Rooney. Just the same way they looked at him. Like They never really got the real showing light that he probably should have. Um, still, to this day, he probably doesn't get the, the light for what he did in terms of goals. But I'll yeah. go Aguero. I'm going to go Aguero. Aguero. Who would you who would you go with Philly? 
if I'm going with my heart, it's obviously Alexis Sanchez. Uh, <laughs> well, I'd say, we obviously... Literally, he literally named Lukaku, Morata, Aguero, Kane, Lacazette. Philly, who would you go for? Sanchez. Yes. Yeah. He was Sanchez, the best, best right-back in the league, Philly. Uh, Bayern. Who? Uh, I thought you were going to go Sanchez again. <laughs> <laughs> you can play, you can do a job at right-back. Um, I'd say, who I'd logically pick, I'd go with Aguero. Just his goal record, second to none. Yeah, look, I think Aguero's the most proven on that list. It's, yes. And if you're going safe, it's, it's got to be Aguero. Because... The best thing about Aguero is Aguero still looks like he has a chipper every Friday. Yeah. He just <laughs> strolls into training. He doesn't need meat, though, doesn't he? No, like he's, he's I can't be a, meat or something. He like can't that. be Argentinian and not eat meat. That's all they eat down yeah, there. Yeah, they yeah, eat yeah. steaks. <laughs> you must just get a fat of cod, look. Like. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a card. Yeah, just just called small chips. Yeah, yeah. Here, Paul, it. who would be who would be your favorite? Hmm. Uh, we haven't got all day now. <laughs> probably, uh, I hate to say this, Aguero. Ooh, oh, you know you're saying Aguero. We've got Objective three three Panzer. votes for Aguero. We will put a poll in the video so you can vote for your uh, favorite striker. Right. I think we'll leave it at that, Philly. Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it at we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Thanks for coming on, by the way, Nick. Yeah, no Nick, thanks a million for coming on. We get you back on. Uh, make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, and head on over to our Facebook page. We are running a competition at the moment. You could win a copy of FIFA 18. Do you want to tell them how they can do yeah, that? Yeah, so you like the post, you comment on it with your subscription for YouTube, and you also share the stats. That's how you enter the draw. And we'll be announcing it with a Facebook Live video on Thursday. Okay, thanks very much.